The, I think it sounds like you understand the difference between the provisional and the non-provisional. Yes. The provisional gets you a filing date. It will never convert into a, a United States patent. It's not examined. It just sits as a placeholder right. until the non-provisional comes in at the one-year mark. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be examined by a patent examiner. Typically, the first round, they do reject the patent application just as a matter of course. There are very few cases that just are uh, allowed upon application. Um, they do that to get something on file, to get their thoughts on the record, so that people understand that they, otherwise it sort of looks as though the patent examiner didn't do anything. So um, unfortunately, that's kind of the way it is. Most inventions sit at the patent office probably about a year to two years. The pendency has actually gone down. Um, in some cases, it's three years. We've had a couple that have come back within just a couple months, which is amazing. And also, it's a little bit upsetting for the inventor because they just spent all the money on the application, and now they've got to do some next steps. And they didn't really have a time to catch their breath, but um, that's just how it goes. So wait, they deny they they. What do they do? They deny they it. They typically then... will reject the patent reject. application. So then you have to reapply? Or... No, you make arguments in response. So that's okay. the attorney typically does that, and we know okay. how to make those arguments. Okay. Um, and then from there, they usually do grant it. Sometimes um, when you ask health insurance, where they mm -hmm. deny it, and then you have to argue it, oh, and then they accept it. Yeah. 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 And then in, in patents, in patent applications, there are something called claims, and that's where you claim your property. So in real property, you might try to claim this whole room, and the patent office will say no, and then you come back and just claim the area around the table. So, so the patent attorneys will always start out a little bit broader and then narrow in, because you can, you can start broad and go narrow, but you can't go narrow and then go broad.